Good morning, my beautiful, lovely ladies out there. How are you guys? I hope you guys are doing great. And we are going to do a little makeup today. We're going to make ourselves look beautiful. And we are going to make some chocolate cookies. And we are also going to talk about uh, uh, inner. We were, we're, we were going to talk about energy, but we'll talk about that tomorrow. I think we're going to talk about sleep today because I think sleep is very important. And I've been getting really good sleep lately. So let's stick on that topic. Okay. All right, I'm going to take my glasses off and I can't see a thing. <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and get started. <clears throat> I just showered. I just dried my hair. So uh, I don't think I'm going to curl it today, but maybe I'll curl it tomorrow. But we're just going to get started. My face feels very dry. So we're going to put some lotions and things on it and we're going to make it more hydrated. So we're going to start off with the. Um, the eye serum, vitamin C. I hope everybody's having a good week. This week is just flying by. I've been busy doing videos and organizing, doing some other things. And it's like today I'm going to take it a little easier because my hands are really tired. Um, from scrubbing and doing different things. So I'm going to take it a little bit easy today. I did get a chance to kick back and read a little bit today. So that felt very nice. And um, we're just going to have a really great day. Hopefully get out and walk. It's, um, oh, I can't see what the temp is. Forty nine degrees. Forty nine degrees. It was really nice yesterday. It hit sixty here yesterday. I had to open the kitchen um, sliding door and just like oh, it was warm. So we're gonna put on a little firming lotion, hibiscus and honey. Lord knows I need all of that I can get. So I hope you guys are <clears throat> doing something, <coughs> excuse me, good for yourself today. <coughs> You're getting up, showering, putting on makeup, doing something really nice to get you in a better, better place, right? We all want to be in a better place. We all want to look beautiful. We all want to, sorry, I'm bumping the camera. We all want to, uh, you know, just do the best that we can. I'm using this here um, moisturizer, which I really like. It makes your face feel so good. I slept with my uh, saran wrap on my arms last night. <laughs> Because I didn't do it during the day yesterday because I was baking and all that. And I just didn't want to um, do it while I was baking and all that stuff. So I did it uh, last night. And that felt pretty amazing. We're going to do a little concealer now. And this is our new one. <laughs> Hopefully you can see it. And I do need to, I have a white dress on, so I do need to put on my towel because I know me. I'll get it splashed on me somehow and I have a brand new dress on and I don't want to do that. And I can't wait. I hope I get my order today. I bought some other uh, new dresses. Um, so now that I'm getting thinner, it's like I want to change my wardrobe and I want to start um, improving my wardrobe and start dressing up more. And it just gives you that vibe and that energy of getting new things. You know, you don't want to wear those old clothes that like when I was fat, you know, I didn't want to wear those old clothes. I still have a ways to go. Don't get me wrong, but, um, it has just that, that stale vibe to it, you know, and it's like, get something new on, get something better on. 
It improves your mood. It can really help you. We're going to do on the around our eyes on the side of our nose. And then down here where we have a little blemish. I did my roller bar last night and this morning. I'll do it right here. Kind of define my lip a little better. Okay, let's rub this in. Roller bar feels so good. And I really believe that it's making a difference. It's really helping my skin get more, get tighter. It's sure helping my situation. So if it's helping me, I'm darn sure it can help you. Just like my weight loss. If, it, if I can do it, I can help you to do it too. You don't have to sit there alone and suffer. We can talk about anything on this channel, right? We can talk about all the things we need to improve. Okay, now we're going to do a little foundation. And I use the CoverGirl one. Which I swore I bought a new one and I still can't find it. So I have to buy an old. So I'm almost out. If I have enough on my hand, do I have face? Face. I guess I did. Gorgeous, you. Gorgeous, you. You guys are gorgeous, inside and out. You guys are gorgeous. I know you are. I know you are. I have a feeling you are. All right, we're going to go ahead and do our brows, I believe. I'm going to use a little pencil, and then we're going to brush them up. We need to pluck a couple little hairs, I see. Let's get this out a little bit. You okay for you guys? Simply gorgeous. We are gorgeous. We are not what they think we are, right? We are gorgeous. We are not what they think we are. A little bit on this one. Need to sharpen this because I'm pushing down and it's not doing what I want to do. So some of you out there may be watching me from your t from your uh, bed. Because I know a lot of you who are obese try to do everything from their bed. And I'm going to talk about that today. And don't think that I don't know what it feels like to be handicapped. You know, when you are obese, it's pretty much a handicap. It's almost a handicap. And when I was young, say first grade, 
When I was young, I was also handicapped, not from obesity, but I was handicapped because I had a hip bone out of place. I wore bracing crutches for two and a half years. And I know what it feels like when people are calling you names, when people are trying to trip you up, when people are making fun of you and all that. I know what it feels like. I've been there. And I wore that brace and crutches uh, for two and a half years. And my dad put BBs in the knee. So when I would walk across our carpet, it would shock me to hold my leg up to get the muscle to bound around the hip bone, you know. And um, I know what pain's like. I know what it's I know what it's it's like. And it's no fun. I've been there too. And then trying to change schools during that time, we changed schools. I was wearing crutches and brace to a brand new school. Can you imagine how I was bombarded with people calling me names, yelling at me, absurd things, um, saying all these horrific things about me to me and all that. So I've been there too. And it's no fun. There's no fun. Okay, we're going to take a little, um, we're going to brush our eyebrows up a little bit. This is... Got them a little heavy today, but hey. Brooke Shields can do it, why can't we? All right. Not too bad. Not too bad. I don't know what I do differently. I got a big glob going there. The more I rub, the more the pencil comes off. The little hollow spot. I'm gonna have to touch that up a little. Trying to get them to come over to my nose a little more. I think they look more normal where they don't grow. I got the other one pretty heavy on. doesn't look so good. Can't be perfect at everything, right? Take this one back a little bit too then. I tried. Not too awfully bad, but if I had this, I think sharpening a little bit. I'm going to touch up a little. Not too bad.
I think we're going to leave it. I'm going to touch up with a little concealer. We wiped off all the foundation. This makes it blend in pretty good. Not the greatest. Better. Blend that in. Okay. My eyebrows are not the uh, most perfect. Let's put it that way. Okay, so we will continue. All right, let's do a little, um, how about some little bronzing powder? Let's do that where we can kind of... Um, well, let's do our eyeshadow first. I think we should. And I was going to do a blue today. I haven't done a blue in years. And I was going to do a blue eyeshadow today. Since I have on these blue earrings, just kind of make it pop a little bit. So we're going to try that. Bring my brushes up here. Let's try a little blue first. Cover up this dress. Rub our brush off here, get all the pink off of it. And I'm just going to rub it and then I'm going to rub it on the towel so I get the fresh. Fresh blue. With a brighter color like this, we have to be kind of careful. With the pinks, we can get them to blend in pretty good, but with this blue, we have to really know where we're going with it. How's that look? I'm going to do the other eye. Different, that's for sure. Pretty darn good. I think it looks good. Good enough. And then we're going to go ahead and take some of this um, silver, a smaller brush. We're going to go underneath our eyes. And just blend it in. Looks pretty good. I have the window open, but it is so hot in here. It's like, oh my god. All right, let's get this on. I got a big glob. A little messy job over there today. All right, let's take a another brush. Put this in. Wish that hair would stay back there. It makes it look much smoother. Pretty nice. 
And then on up on top, we might do like a something that blends in with our skin pretty good. Might do like some of this tan color up on top. So let's use let's use this brush since we don't have much on it. It's a little bit lighter, but it helps us to. Try to get that blue to stay where it belongs. I remember to take my Claritin today. It is helping. But I remember to take it. Blend it out to the sides. It looks all right. Okay, we're going to put this away. We'll brush away. We're going to do a little eyeliner. Right before it gets wet, right? That went on easy. Much easier when I than when I first bought it. That's for sure. Excuse me a second. Oh, sorry. All right. How about a little blush? We're gonna blush it up. How about a little blush. I'm gonna blush it up a little. Something on me. Up a little bit, make it sweet, make us pretty. I cannot sing. That is the complete truth. <laughs> All right, we're going to do a little highlight on our nose. Going to go down our nose a little bit, make it feel and look a little thinner. My coach contacted me today. Oh, we're having a call. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what do you say? Okay. Okay. All right. What else do we need? We need a little mascara. Oh, and we need our little lip pencil. I did dig a lot of this out of here so you guys didn't have to listen to that noise. But I did not get the liner the pencil for the I have to do it anyway. And I was trying to save you guys. Here it was. Found it. For mascara. Let's do a little pencil. We can go up just a little bit on our lips and cheat just a little bit. We have a tiny little lips.
much better. And we're going to come back and put some lipstick on them. First, we're going to do a little mascara. We didn't do the curling clamp today. We'll save it for another day. All right, save it for another day. It's a rainy day here today. There we go. Now we're getting it to flow. I think I just touched. Not too bad. Beautiful. Good. Well, it's good enough, but it's good. What about this eyeliner? It like rubs off. I haven't even done anything and the eyeliner is like hardly there. That means I need to buy a little more expensive one. I just picked this up real quick, the eyeliner. So maybe I will invest in a nice one, better one. Waterproof, maybe it stays on longer. All day strength. How about that? A little time consuming today, guys. I apologize. Hopefully you're doing your makeup right along with me. You are beautifying yourself the best you can. You're going to do really good today on what you choose to eat. You're going to do magnificent. All right, we're going to do a little lipstick. And I'm still using this red throughout February. So we're at February, what, 22nd today, I believe. And we're going to use red. Beautiful. Makes me feel like a teenager once again. <laughs> How do you like that one? Huh? We all want to look like a teenager again, don't we? Okay, I think we did everything except for the bronzing. We're going to do that because that is what really helps us to tone down our, I feel, my opinion, our chubby uh, cheeks, our chubby, chubby. Okay. We're going to do the side of our nose. We're going to do a little chubbiness here on the sides. Get my earring out of the way. I'll change the color of that. Don't watch it. 
Look how we put that neck right in position. So much better. My gosh. You know, I like to do my eyebrows a little, just a little tone down, a little covering. Gorgeous. Simply gorgeous. My face is changing. What do you say? Gorgeous? Cute? Pretty? Put it in the comments below. I love you for that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I need to get some more subscribers if, I, if I'm going to keep doing this. So I need you guys to like and subscribe. Hit the like and subscribe button. We're going to do a little serum. We're going to put the last final touches of the serum on. And then we can be done with the makeup portion. And we're going to go on into the sleep portion. I feel anything. Hmm. Smells wonderful. I say that every time, but I mean it so much. And um, so anyway, let me find my glasses. Push my things back there. I didn't get any cologne on today, so let me get a little, a little smell good. Boy, these glasses washed. I'm just doing what I can. They get makeup on and take them on and off a hundred times a day, and they get. Let's see here. Be a little goo. When I put my glasses on. I can see what the heck's going on. Not too bad. I got good sleep last two nights, and my eyes still look a little bloodshot. Gonna have to get more sleep. That's what that details. Okay, let's see what we got here. See if I want this smell. It does smell awfully nice. This is the little <laughs> the little shoe, little steto heel. Beautiful. It smells wonderful. Okay. We are going to touch up a little bit of nails. I'm going to leave them. Um, I broke one yesterday. We're going to leave them red. So we will be doing that. I will be doing that. Sorry. But we're going to talk about sleep. What you guys are here for. What you guys are wanting to know about sleep. So this is what I have for you guys. So for you guys, only you guys. And I'm going to be giving you guys a special on my program. And you guys, it is a huge savings. And I'm going to be putting it and filming it today. And I'm going to be putting it online. And I hope you guys will step up to the plate and you will take the initiative to take charge of your life, take charge of your health. And I'm going to make it affordable for you. So sleeping can be uh, this is about obesity and sleeping, okay? So they go together. Um, so anyway, sleeping can be an issue for many uh, obese people. The rolls of skin can keep you from a good night's sleep. If you eat too late at night, you get heartburn, indigestion. You may already suffer from digestion issues, which when I was overweight, I did, you know? Because we were eating really late at night. We were eating tons of pizza, tons of pasta with red sauce, and just consuming too many calories. And just, you know, oh, I'm glad I'm out of that phase. <laughs> really, yeah. So sleep plays an important role in our mood, energy level, and our food intake. If we are tired, we get more likely to take in more sugar to, cons to compensate our tiredness and try to boost it with sugar. I do that a lot. Um, even though I choose healthy sugars now, but I still, I would find myself doing that, going for the sweet to try to stay awake and to try to stay up and going, you know. 
Uh, if we are tired, we are more likely to take in more sugar to compensate for our tiredness and try to boost it with sugar. I read that twice, so you can get it. Okay. If we don't get enough rest, we will be less likely to want to exercise. And when we are tired, we are short with ourselves and others. It makes us in a cranky mood, you know. Uh, when you are obese, you want to do everything in your bed. Watch TV, eat, sleep, and not, a, not get out of bed. It's your comfort zone for being overweight. You feel safe there. You feel sorry for yourself there. You learned to do everything in your life from there. But I am here to tell you it's not helping you a bit to run your life from your bed. You have, you have to get out of, of bed in the mornings and shower and start hanging out in other areas of your house. You know, if you have another area in your house, a living room, a kitchen, a reading room, um, somewhere, even if you live in a warm climate, you can get outside. Um, so, but you have to get up and you have to get out and you have to get showered and you have to get dressed and you have to start wearing some clothes that make you feel good about yourself. Uh, some freshness, right? Even if they come from a resale shop, that's fine. You know how many times I bought from resale shop? Probably more than I've bought brand new. And I come from a huge family and all I ever had was hand-me-downs. And those hand-me-downs were always new to me, made me feel fresh, made me feel, you know, more alive and everything and um, renewed my wardrobe. And I loved them. You know, I would never turn down hand-me-downs. So save the bedroom for sleeping only and you will have a much better sleep pattern and a much better life. If you want weight loss, you have to do the things that are uncomfortable. You have to start living life again and you have to give it effort. You have to push through the hard shit. You have to want change and good health. You have to get stronger. You have to get your mindset together and push yourself to think more positive to change your way of thinking. You have to want the new you, the healthier you, the bright shining you, the lovable you. You have to have all you have the you we have all been waiting for. You, the you you want to be and the best you want to be. My best of love to you guys. So I wrote down a few things that I thought would maybe improve your situation. So you could take out a sheet of paper. You could write some of this down. You could take the initiative to take charge of your weight. You could take the initiative to uh, start something, get doing something in the right direction that's going to help you to win at your weight loss efforts, right? So get out of bed and start living. That's the main thing. So wake up and get out of bed. Make your bed and leave the room. Keep your bed for sleeping only and not living in it. So make your bed, right? Get out of bed and start anew. Good habit suggestions. Change your coffee creamer to a plant-based creamer. Start a tiny exercise like walking in place for as long as you can. Make a super healthy breakfast. Start your day with a super healthy breakfast. Number three, find some paper or a notebook and start journaling. Write all about the things you love and want to do. Write how you want to be good to your health today and what you will do today to make a good impact for tomorrow. Number four, start cleaning the clutter of your bedroom, kitchen, or living space. Dust and move things around to beautify your space. Throw things away that you know you don't want or need. And make sure they get in the garbage or a resale box and into the resale shop, right? So number five is do some meal prep for your breakfast or lunches or both. Make foods you know that is good for you. And make oatmeal cups for breakfast in small jars where you put oatmeal, you put a little bit of fruit and a little bit of plant-based milk and some nuts, some seeds, and make those up ahead of time, the, the short little ones. Um, I use the wide mouth jars and then the short ones. 
and make those up, put them in the refrigerator. And when you get up in the morning for breakfast, you have your breakfast already ready. All you have to do is pull it out. You can even heat it up in those jars if you want to. Uh, so they're easy, they're convenient. Put salads into individual jars for lunches. I was doing this when I was working at my Airbnb every day and painting and doing all the design work. And I would make these salads up in jars and I would take the salads over each day. I'd take one over there, put it in the refrigerator there, and then I would have that for lunch. And um, it was just so, you know, it saved me a lot of time so I didn't have to run home and eat and all that or go and find something that I know I shouldn't have. So it was just right there for me. And it just really, it helped me so much. You can also uh, make some energy balls for your snacks that you can freeze and put out when needed. So those are made with nuts and seeds and chocolate and maybe a little peanut butter and oats and, um, you know, a lot of raw things, unsalted things. And make those up into cluster balls and um, let them dry out for a little bit in the daytime and put them right in the freezer and you can have those for your snacks and things like that. That's what I do when I get like a a really like hunger, hunger attack and, and I want something like right before I exercise or something. I just need something, you know, I'll get, go and get two of those little chocolate balls. I'll eat those and I kind of boost my energy back up. It's like, okay, I can go hike now. I can get on my trampoline or I can get moving, you know? So and number six is clean your stove or refrigerator or microwave today, making your kitchen a space where you want to cook for yourself. A clean kitchen invites cooking like a cook like you. And um, so, yeah, so when your kitchen is clean, you are more apt to want to um, cook for yourself and cook in the kitchen. When your kitchen is a mess and it's a total wreck, nobody wants to go in there and cook food for you or nobody wants to go in there and, and make meals, right? So then you're buying out and you're ordering food and you're going to restaurants and all this stuff and you're not eating healthy, right? So you want to be able to be eating some you know, fruits and vegetables, some whole grains, stuff like that. And, um, you know, don't forget your nuts and seeds. Those are great snacks, you know. So I'm going to um, convert a little bit and we are going to see you in the next clip. Okay, you guys, I got my order from ASOS. And so I'm just going to show you what I bought. So I bought some cute stuff. So I'm going to show you what I got. It's always so nice to treat yourself and to get some other clothes, right? Like I bought this dress, I think, from there. And I bought another yellow one almost just like it. I just love it. It's cotton. It's comfortable. And it just is amazing. So we're going to open this up and we're going to see what we got. Okay. First, we got this dress. And I've been so into dresses lately. I don't know why. You know, you just go through a phase. And I'm just so sick of when I was chubby living in those sweatpants and in those, um, uh, you know, those knit pants. I'm just so sick of that. Oh, this has, this is really nice feel, fabric. I thought it was more of a knit, but it's, it's a little stretchy. But it's long. It's a maxi dress. But I think it's adorable. And it buttons here. Ooh, what do we wear underneath it? Oh, this is the back. Sorry. <laughs> I was going to say, whoa. <laughs> so that's the back. And this is the front. Oh, and it's got little buttons that go all the way down. Look, and then it's a slit, you know. I'll probably have to shorten it. Yeah, I'll probably have to shorten it a little bit. Maybe not. Once I get it on and my body gets in it, it might be okay. So I got that dress. I've been buying a lot of dresses lately. I think that is so cute, especially for springtime. That's going to be adorable. Let me save this paper. I don't really need to save it. but Okay, and then there's this dress, Glamorous. Oh, and this fabric feels nice, too. Nicer than in the pictures. Kind of like heavy. Hope I didn't buy too big a size. Because when some of these are 
um, made elsewhere, they really are. Um, this wraps. So it's got a little button here, a little thing. Where is the... There's a button here. Oh, so it must go this way first. And it buttons here inside. And this is for the outside. Oh, it's got little covered buttons on the outside. So it'll be like that. How sweet with the little puffy sleeves. Look at the sleeves. Little puffy sleeves. This is going to be adorable. And it's got a little ruffle at the bottom, too. How cute is that? That is so cute. I really like it. And I think it's... I think it's black and white. At first I thought it was navy, but I, I believe the when I ordered it, it was black and white. Glamorous. www.glamorous.com. That's where this came from. Okay. And I know I shouldn't have got another green dress, but I got another green dress. And I think I had, I bought two last year green. It's just so popular right now. Oh, this fabric feels nice and silky. And some of the sizes were, some of the sizes were gone because they were on sale. Some of the sizes were gone. So I went ahead and got the little bit uh, larger size, which I can take it in. That's okay. This feels elegant. It feels really nice. So it ties in the back. It's got just sleeveless. I'm trying to see. I thought for for a minute it was open, but it's not. So it ties in the back. Let's see. Just a round neckline. And then it kind of swoops over to this way. And swoops over here. It kind of bunches on each side. And then the back, it has the back where the back, I hope I'll feel confident and comfortable enough to wear this where the back is open in the back. So I don't know how, but if I have to put a piece of something else in there, a piece of another fabric, or if I will feel comfortable enough to wear it without a bra or without a, um, I don't know, I'll have to figure something out for that. I think that, oh, it's satin. It feels so nice. This one. Doesn't say. Okay. Then we got this one. This looks like spring and summer. This is going to be so cute. It looks so cute on the model. So it just very fitted at the top. It's got the puffy sleeves again. And then a really cute back. Look at like ties. It's got this tie for the back. material is really slippery satiny I have to really make sure the tie so the back is really open but that'll be fine this one I think I can wear a bra with as long as this covers up um I think it'll be okay especially for my videos and things they don't see the back of me anyway you guys don't see the back of me anyway so I think it'll be just fine for that adorable and I can always put fabric on the back if I want to blend it I'll probably be taking enough off of the bottom that I can just piece it in if I need to so depending on how I feel 
And I like this style of a dress. I hope it's not going to be too short, but it's, um, it's got the puffy sleeves and even a little cape sleeve and then the, the puffy sleeve. And then it has this elastic, so it's going to have a square neckline. And I think it'll be all right because I'm short anyway. So I think it might be just perfect. And I like the green. This is so cute. This actually matches, kind of matches the boots that my son bought me for Christmas. He bought me some dark green uh, little, little boots. That would be cute with that, I bet. I think this is the last one. Oh, and this has a belt to that black one. This one. This one has a belt. Oh, I see the belt loop now. So I can cinch it in. Oh, adorable! Most of them are prints, except for that green one, but that's okay. I want some dresses to wear some livelihood to them. That's what I want. I like it. Ooh, this one feels a little bit like a crepe material. It feels really nice, but boy, is it revealing. So the back is wide open, so the top, the front part is... Adorable. Adorable. And the sides are open. And I'll have plenty off of the bottom. Yeah, I'll have plenty off the bottom where I can kind of piece in these sides. So it's not like my bare skin. And look, it's elastic in the back. That's going to be comfortable. This is going to be so comfy. I'm going to go on like that. With the sleeves. And then somehow like this. A nice maxi. Almost all of these are maxi. So I wanted some longer dresses like this. Then I will have to show my legs and stuff. And I can just like wear these with a little sandal this summer or something. And it'll be adorable kind of like this so much this would be cute to wear to the um baby shower if i could get it done in time because i'll have to shorten it and i'll have to add some little material to the sides but it can be done and i can do it I've done alterations for people for 25 years, and I can figure it out. So look at all these colors. It's just so fun. Look at that. And this is the only solid. Most of the solids were sold out. But I don't care. I, I, like, I like prints. I'm a busy person anyway, so it kind of matches my personality in a way. So I can't wait to try them on. Okay, we're going to get rid of all this plastic. They're all on sale, so there's no return, so I'm not going to be able to return. I just have to make them all fit me, right? Which I will. So. That goes for that. I have plenty of wrap. I don't know if I need to keep this or not, but I do have a lot of gifts to wrap. Just kind of like for some stuffing. So, the end. All right, we'll get rid of this stuff. And then I can find some hangers and hang all of this up. I'm so excited. So, it's going to be awesome. I am really looking forward to wearing some of these. So, I hope that helps you. I hope it inspires you to get some new things. Um, even if they're from resale shops or whatever, it can still bring that same excitement to you and where you start feeling good in your clothes again. You start wearing different things and you start uh, really feeling good, you know. You can do it, you guys. 
Okay, you guys, you know how long I have gone without ice cream and I love ice cream. So we're going to be making some ice cream today and um, sugar free, of course. And but it's been such a long time. So we're just going to do it, right? We're just going to do it. And um, we're going to see how this recipe works. I found this recipe uh, online from someone else and I apologize. I don't know, remember who it was from, but um we're just going to change it up just a little bit and um, we're gonna do this thing, okay? So we first need two cups of heavy cream. Now I don't know if I have two cups, so we're gonna make it just the best we can. And I'm not sure I have two cups here. So we might have to cut the recipe. So we have one cup. It's gonna make a little amount. We have one and a quarter cup. So we're gonna to try to make this recipe. It calls for two cups, but we don't have two cups. So we're just gonna go with what we have, okay? So we have two cups of that. This is whipping cream, whole um, whipping cream. And it is two tablespoons of liquid. Whipping cream is about 25 calories, so. Um, Let's see. And then we're going to, we need a quarter cup of sweetener if we had a whole two cups, but we don't. So we're going to back off a little um, of the sweetener. So instead of putting, what does it say? A third cup. And this stuff, this is um, stevia monk fruit sweetener. Oops, I stuck it in the wrong one. Um, I don't know how much we should do. We're going to do almost a quarter. Almost a quarter cup. That's what we're going to do. So I'm going to put that in there. So we got that one. And then we need a little bit of salt. And you know I don't like using salt, but we're going to use just a smidge of Himalayan salt. So I'm just going to see if I can get some little, little bits here. Maybe maybe that's going to be too, too much. I'm just going to use a tiny little bit and take out the big bits just so it's a little, it's not even a... Um, eighth of a teaspoon. It's less than that. So it's just a tiny smidge for a little bit. So it brings out the sweetness. It helps to enhance the sweetness. Um, and then we are going to use, it calls for two tablespoons of rum or vodka. But the only thing that I found that we have like alcohol wise is this Irish cream. And I don't think, I don't think it's even been open. Oh, it smells wonderful. So we're going to use, how about we use, it calls for two tablespoons, but we don't have two cups here. So we're going to use, we're going to use one tablespoon and a little. Why not kick it up, right? Not quite two tablespoons. We backed off. Okay. And then it calls for a teaspoon of vanilla. Did I bring over a teaspoon? No. Teaspoon of vanilla. And then it says even a teaspoon of vanilla paste. Make sure I'm reading this right. One. Teaspoon. Yeah, a teaspoon. So we're going to do one teaspoon of whole vanilla, real vanilla. So one teaspoon and then a little bit. Because it called for two, but we didn't have the two. I hope I didn't splash my dress. Okay, so that's, that's it. And then we're going to blend this thing up. 
I wish I had a smaller bowl, a, a smaller container, but I don't um, that I could think of unless I put it in a bowl because it's not enough to really put in there. Let me see what I can find. We're going to blend this up first. And I made a little mess. So I found this is a little bit smaller. So I think we'll put it in this bowl. And then tomorrow we can make ourselves an ice cream cone, okay? So we'll do it on this, um, on YouTube. Let me just taste it. Oh my God. Tastes just like vanilla ice cream. Oh my God. You guys. This is going to be amazing. <laughs> this is going to be my new ice cream. Delicious. Let's get rid of some of this stuff. What else we got? Got this and this and this. And I'll find some uh, cling wrap and we will uh, wrap this up. Look at that. Look at the bubbles. Look how whipped it is. It's going to be perfect. It's going to be perfect. Absolutely perfect. I did not do my arms this morning. I did them before I went to bed last night. And I guess I'll have to do them before I go to bed tonight because... I've been just busy. I've been having so much fun. <laughs> I've been busy. All for you guys, because you are so important to me. We're going to put this in a freezer. We're going to put our stuff away. And I'm going to see you guys tomorrow for ice cream. Meet me right here. Make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll see you all real soon. Bye-bye now.